morning. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for the great support and great friendship to Japan by the international community. Today, I'd like to share with you the, our experience in Tohoku. I saw there, what I saw there was such a resilience and solidarity of the people. Um, on the March 11th last year, I was in the headquarters building in Tokyo. And uh, I called for emergency committee. Um, and I made it, it clear that we will support the people. Don't worry about the cost. We'll do it. Let's support the people. We we'll do it together. I stated very firm, clearly, to our people. Um, we set the priorities. The first one was to search for our own people and our franchisees and their employees and the relatives in the affected areas. And uh, we made every effort to deliver aids such as water, rice balls, and bread by utilizing our nationwide factories and logistic centers. Almost uh, that was a great, great effort because things were so much scarce. And it was very important to reopen our stores because we wanted to give peace of mind to people because we are the one to provide daily essentials. Let me talk about the real scenes from Soma City. As you know very well about Soma City, Soma City is located 40 kilometers from Fukushima nuclear plant. It was a hit not only earthquake and the tsunami, but also radiation threat. People were evacuating, and many of the retail stores were closed due to scarcity of merchandise. No truck delivery was made. People, I mean, truck drivers didn't want to go. All of a sudden, I received a phone call from Mr. Chuchia, the mayor of Soma City. He was so passionate with strong emotion, but before then, I've never, I'd never met him before. Somehow he got my phone number. He made a call in the middle of night, one o'clock, one o'clock. He was so serious. S told me, please, Ninami-san, please, please open just one Lawson store because I want to bring back the city normal. I thought. The guy is so serious, so serious. That moved me a lot. I decided to open store. But it was so difficult because our franchisee in some city were also victims of the disaster. After careful consideration, I asked Ms. Kato to reopen the, the her store. But she was living in a shelter, both of her mother-in-law and the store manager were still missing. Despite those hardships, I chose her because we had strong confidence in her from her long history of Lawson. Also, we contacted with the, her store employees. They really convinced her. Kato-san, let's open the store. We want to help the people in the community. That moved her very much and she decided to reopen the store. And uh, um, after her opening the store, 
people are so excited. Take a look, waited for you know, opening. That was a long queue. And other retailers followed by opening their stores. As a matter of fact, that saved some city from becoming, becoming the ghost town. A few days later, I visited the store to see what's happening. And I saw a lot of people rushing into the store and uh, purchasing a lot of things with a big smile. I was so happy to see it, though we ran out of merchandise soon. We have a corporate philosophy, creating happiness and harmony in our communities. The philosophy and the value was well understood and accepted by our own people and even store employees. Um, another example was demonstrated when our local staff delivered lunch boxes to children. Um, that was a, a strong request from Soma City as the uh, uh, rescue supply. They decided to put the uh, extra dessert to the lunch boxes at their own discretion because they thought that would make the children happy. As a matter of fact, it was so hard to obtain sweets at that time. Everybody wanted to eat sweets, but anyhow, they could secure sweets for the children. This small act of thoughtfulness was well received by the people. Again, I received a phone call from Mayor Tachiya, Ninami-san. You did a great job. Thank you so much. Because the children were so happy. I was cried in my room quietly. And uh, I was so much proud of those people because that created big smiles and laughter among the children. Many of them had lost their immediate relatives and friends. But I'm sure that that gave them a great hope for the future. People delivering lunch boxes in some city. They are their thank you letters. How nice they are. Take a look at it. And uh, these students carrying their hopes for the future. They are now forward-looking with great hopes. I love it. Isn't that beautiful? This time, I learned a lot, so much. We learned a lot from the experience of Tohoku. I have reaffirmed the importance of the business, for the business to coexist in harmony in society. There is strong pressure for us business to perform the short-term financial results. However, we have to consider seriously the reason why we exist in society. I strongly believe, take a look at those smiles. I strongly believe the, the long-term success of business comes from value creation for society as a whole. Thank you very much.